Hi everyone, my name is Josh. I'm an AIPP Double Master of Photography and a Moab Print Master. And today we're going to be having a look at print sharpening and specifically the workflow I use for my own award images when I'm preparing an image for print. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Lightroom and then I'm also going to show you how to do it in Adobe Photoshop using a third party plugin. And you can pick and choose which one you prefer based on your workflow preferences. Now, it doesn't actually matter which one you use, as what's going on under the hood is exactly the same in both instances. So, without further ado, let's have a look at it. Okay, here we are in Adobe Lightroom Creative Cloud, and this is the latest version of Creative Cloud. And we've got a finished image on screen. Uh, this is a, a TIFF file, so I have processed the raw file, made the adjustments to the image I've wanted to make, and then I have rendered out a TIFF file, which is my master file that I can then make a print from. So I am now effectively ready to make a print and let's have a look at print sharpening. So the very first thing to note about print sharpening is that it's size dependent. So in other words, the size of the print you make determines how much print sharpening you actually need to apply. Now, it's important to understand that it's a little bit simpler in Lightroom as Lightroom takes care of this for you. When you size the image in Lightroom, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and then you select your output print sharpening, it will actually work out the right amount of sharpening to apply for you. Uh, the print plugin in Photoshop works a little bit differently, but we'll go over that in a minute. So here we have our finished master file, uh, ready to take a print. So I'm going to literally take it over to the print module and then we have an option where we're going to size the file uh, for the size print we want to make and in this case I want to make a print that's 16 inches on the long dimension so 16 inches on the longest side so 16 inches and I'm set up for A3 plus or 13 by 19 inch paper for that because I like to have a one and a half inch border around my around my print then all I need to do is to select my print resolution so ideally if you're printing on Canon that's going to be 300 ppi or an Epson 360 uh, and then to select print sharpening and you have a drop down with either low standard or high. Now if you have correctly sharpened your master file so you've zoomed in at 100% on your master file and you've made sure that it's there's no visible halos there everything's nice and sharp though um, and that there's no artifacting there from too much sharpening then the amount you're going to want to select here is standard. Okay, if you've applied a little bit too much sharpening in your post-production, you might want to select low. Or if you haven't provided, uh, if you haven't applied enough sharpening, then you can uh, use a setting of high. And then the other setting you need to make a selection on is: Are you printing on matte or glossy paper? Because it actually makes a difference. Typically, glossy papers need a little bit less sharpening, so they actually have two options here to select either matte or glossy. So I'm going to select matte because I'm going to be printing to Moab Somerset Museum Rag, which is a uh, white, a very neutral white uh, matte paper that I love to print on with a very gentle surface um, stipple. Then I've got uh, a 16-bit output selected, so obviously I want the maximum possible quality. And I'm actually almost ready to print. I just need to select my profile and away I go. So it's actually that simple in Lightroom for print sharpening, provided that your capture sharpening on your original master file is correct that's really the key if you're too sharp and you um, you make a print with a standard amount of sharpening you may have a problem or if you don't have enough and you use the standard amount of sharpening you may have a problem so make sure that your capture sharpening is optimal and then it's a very straightforward workflow workflow through Lightroom uh, for optimal print sharpening so it's that simple let's have a look at how it looks in Adobe Photoshop and uh, I'll show you what the differences are there. Okay, so let's have a look at how we do this in Adobe Photoshop using the Pixel Genius plugin. So I'm going to take the finished master TIFF file over to Photoshop uh, as a first, um, first step. Photo, edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop, and I'll take over the original given it's my original master file. And the very first thing I need to do once I've brought the image into Photoshop, uh, after I've installed the plugin, and you'll need to go to Pixel Genius's website, download the plugin, Photo Kit, and uh, install that before you, you uh, open Photoshop. Uh, once you've done that, though, the next step is to actually size the image ready for print. As I mentioned uh, in light, for the Lightroom step, uh, printing 
uh, print sharpening is size dependent. So it's really critical that you size the image before you apply sharpening. So in Photoshop, we're going to just go to image, image size. And I'm going to make a 16 inch print again on the long edge at 300 PPI. And I'll hit OK. And that means that Photoshop will just resample the image to 300 pixels per inch uh, at 16 inches on the long edge dimension. Once I've done that and I'm ready to sharpen the image for print, I simply go to File, Automate, Photo Kit Output Sharpener, and that will start the plugin. Now there's a number of drop downs here um, that we can run through, and I'll just go through the steps for each one. The first one is just literally to make sure you have Photo Kit Output Sharpener selected because Photo Kit also has the capability to do both capture sharpening and creative sharpening. So we've already done both of those steps in Lightroom. Uh, our capture sharpening and any creative sharpening I might have wanted to do. So we're going to use output sharpening. And the next step, the next drop down is what type of printer are we going out to? Because the sharpening is different depending on what type of printer. So in almost all instances, if you're printing yourself, you're going to be going to an inkjet printer. So we're going to select inkjet output sharpeners. And then we're simply going to select matte or glossy. So uh, again, I'm going to be printing to matte paper in this instance, so I'll leave it selected as matte. And then in this final section, you can see that PhotoKit's actually picked up the sizing already. So I don't need to do anything here. It's picked up the correct width and height and it's picked up the resolution. So that's all automatic. Then I just li literally hit OK. And what happens then is PhotoKit will render out the sharpening as a new grouped layer. And this is really important because it gives you a little bit more flexibility than doing this in Lightroom because it's rendered out as a new group layer. And if I open it up, you can see there's both a light contour and a dark contour for sharpening. You can actually play with the individual opacities on those if you want to tw further tweak your sharpening. So this is why I like to do it in Photoshop. Just gives me a little bit more power than I have in Lightroom. Uh, the steps are a little bit more complex, but it's still very, very straightforward. And that's how I do it. That's how when I'm ready to make a print, I go through and I make um, make the adjustments that I want to make to the image, create a master file. And when I'm ready to make a print, I use uh, the Pixel Genius plugin, which is free and you can download that for free. Um, and you, from that, you can create perfectly sharp prints. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip.